guys, I'm going to show you how to do a really simple Canada Day, Canada flag uh, nail art. It's pretty simple. I just learned it by myself. No specific things. If you'd like to have um, really cool designs, I'd suggest also go to Cute Polish. It's a really nice one. I used to learn from them. And for hairstyles, if you don't like mines, you can also go to... Um, I think her name was uh, Lexi Hair. Yes, Lexi Hair. I didn't use it for a long time. Long story. Um, so let's get started. So first, what you're gonna do is put on a base coat. I already put in mine on. And what you're gonna do first is um, here. Let me set it up. Okay. Um, so what I'm gonna do here is. I'm just going to take some white nail polish. This one. Uh, I'll show you at the end of the video. So it's this one. This white nail polish. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to... Put it in, I'm just going to put it on and then I'm going to show you how to do it. Uh, how to put it on. So I'm just going to take it and I'm just going to like... Not in a rotation, you just want to make it like a flag, so you might want to just make it like a rectangle, so most of your nail, not too much. So there, just like that, something like that. You're just going to do that, and you're going to wait for it to dry. Well... You don't want it to um, smudge up, so I'd say just have some nail polish remover right beside you just in case. And if you get it on your skin, don't worry. After you take a bath or something, it'll just peel off then. Or what you can do when your nail is totally dry, you can just um, put on some nail polish remover on a cotton ball and clean it up. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is, if you have one of those nail art bottles, something like this. One here, let me show you. Like this. It's going to be something like this. If you have that type of bottle, uh, this there's a striper and a pen thing, so things going to be like this. And then when you open it up, the cap, you have like a pen type of thing. Let me get it. There, like that. And you can do nail art with that. So you're just going to use the skinny brush. So you, this is a purple one, but I don't have a red one. So I'm just going to dip it into the red thing after cleaning it up. So after that, you're just going to make two stripes. Like this. Okay, so that's our nail flag stripes. I'm just gonna color it in lightly, something like this, like this. And now in the middle, you're just gonna draw a line, or just paint a line, and you're just gonna have like lines over it. So, like, you have it painted. The rest, like, you have this line. And you can make it as detailed as you want. It might be a little bit blurry because I'm doing it on a tablet. If I had a laptop, it'd be clear, but it's gonna look something like this. Um, it's not really clear, I know. But for the other nails, I don't know why it's so clear. It just gets messed up. So it's something like that. The maple leaf sort of got blurred up. And the rest of the nails, you can paint them like this. You know, all the you have for that is just a white nail polish and a red nail polish. Just striping. You can use a striper. I just used the brush because it was a little bit thin. 
So I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, please subscribe down below and comment on which type of nails you'd like to see. I could try to do any. I'll practice by myself and my next video I'm just going to make it again just in a few minutes. Uh, it's like a, a geometry type of nails that Bella Thorne does. C.C. Jones, in other words. If you watch Shake It Up, it's C.C. Jones, Bella Thorne. She um, uh, inspired those type of nails. So I hope you enjoy it. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. I hope you give it a try. Like and comment and subscribe. And I hope to see you again.